Well, the uh, Young Bucks and Kenny Omega still suspended, and no update on when this investigation is going to wrap up. So in the meantime, it was basically they, announced that BTE is on hi- hiatus. BTE is on hiatus. They were, um, they've been pulled from all advertising from all shows, including the pay-per-view, which is months away. Um, so I don't know what that means. Um, it's... It's kind of like something where you, I mean, it's, it's, you know, I'm kind of sitting here, you know, waiting for the, the truth to come out, whatever the truth is. And it's kind of, and it's because of that, I'm having to hear all of these stories that may or may not be true or may have some semblance of truth and things like that. And it's kind of, um, um, you know, you just kind of wait I guess is the best way to put it. I know, um, you know, I mean, we talked about the, the, the WWE story, and and um, the only thing I know on that is uh, that, you know, they have said that that story is not true. So, um, not that they, you know, they talk to people in WWE. That's not unusual. But, I mean, again, like, I, you know, the time will tell on what what happened and what's happening and everything like that. And you probably know more than I do on some of this stuff, but um, but I do know that that they've denied that um, that stuff. The um, I do obviously that rumor as far as you know calling and everything. I the one thing that's kind of weird to me and and um, it's like the nature of the story is that they called a WWE talent who I'm sure they did call and wanted to get in touch with like triple h or something right and it's like why would they do why if if you wanted to get in touch with triple h i mean they negotiated with the guy in 2018 a lot so why would you need an intermediary to go through i mean in if 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 that was your goal why would you know that's the thing that doesn't add up but i mean i'm not saying it didn't happen i am saying that they deny it happened but you know, when I hear like stories, you know, like they kicked down the door and you and I talked about this when that happened. And it's like, you know, they didn't kick down the door. They went there with, you know, the head of legal. They didn't kick down the door. Now, as far as what happened when they got in there and was there yelling and screaming before the first punch? Was there not? I don't know. And I think that that will probably come out very soon. Um, the other one that's interesting is, is that Omega has kind of been looped into this um, because, of course, they are very tight. But there is, I mean, there's no indication, like, of anything. Like, even, even like, again, like, accusations or whatever are things that people have said the Young Bucks did. There's no indication Kenny Omega did any any of that stuff, okay? Even, even like, you know, um, I mean, any, any of the stuff that, that is being out there. So it's kind of... Again, it's like it's it's a different situation. I mean, he didn't, you know. So, I'm kind of it's kind of weird waiting for. It is all weird, this. but my my presumption is, I mean, there's a reason that you do an investigation like this, and there's a reason that it takes a long time. And there's a reason that you try to get everybody's side and try to figure out what really happened. And the main reason is you want to cut off the idea of somebody filing a lawsuit. Well, someone's going to file a lawsuit, or, or I shouldn't say for sure, but I wouldn't be surprised someone's going to file a lawsuit coming out of this, if not multiple. That's the one thing, and, and I think that's from the AEW standpoint, why this is really a mess that this happened, because um, I do expect, I do expect if anyone gets fired, that, that there'll be lawsuits. I do expect there may be, you know, I, I expect this thing is going to be, in that sense, a complete mess for AEW because... Sure, but st- I think the idea, obviously, is if somebody files a lawsuit and you can say, well, listen, we did this this very in-depth ed- investigation. It took six weeks or whatever. And, you know, everybody, we interviewed all these people and it was determined that such and such was at fault. I mean, that's going to go a long way to uh, potentially protecting you in the lawsuit as opposed to well there was a fight we immediately fired somebody they file a lawsuit and then it's a big disaster it's a big disaster either way um you know i think it's going to be very interesting um as far as like this week will be this is the first week where like last week again you you had a situation where 
there was a lot of curiosity on what would be done. This week, I mean, people know, I mean, there's going to be, well, there's not going to be any CM Punk on the show for a long, long time. Um, and there's not going to be any Young Bucks and Kenny Omega on the show most likely this week. And perhaps, you know, I mean, I, I don't know how long. You know, we, we don't know the answer to that question. But but it, the presumption would be that there will not be on the show. Now, they do have the, I mean, they do have a very loaded show in Albany with, um, you know, Moxley and Sammy Guevara and Jericho and Danielson, um, you know, in the championship tournament, among other matches. So, in theory, um, with the semifinals and the New York show the next two weeks, they should, in theory, have two big numbers. Um, that doesn't mean they will. It will be very because sometimes, you know, with AEW, it's sometimes um, sometimes they'll do you know they'll really have these shows that look great on paper and they just do normal numbers, and then um, sometimes they'll have shows that look average and and do the same numbers. I mean, usually an average show doesn't do a great number. Usually, but but sometimes a show that looks great does an average number, and sometimes a show that does great does a good to great number. Um, but you know, I I mean. Based on normal stuff, I would think the next two weeks should do well. But if it doesn't do well, you know, I mean, that's, I mean, we'll wait and see. Um, and, you know, as far as, you know, like, well, you know, for the for the next pay-per-view, I mean, obviously, we're just starting and everything like that. But, but you take those guys out, I mean, that's a depth issue. You know, when, um, when a, you know, because the one thing with the AEW pay-per-views is, is that, Historically, I mean, there have been there have been a couple of shows that did not quite reach the level, but historically, probably what, what would you say eighty percent of the shows have been pretty much outstanding, and maybe the other twenty percent have had misfires here and there. But one of the keys is is that um, the Young Bucks, you know, on pay per view are just have just been tremendous, and Omega, obviously, one of the best big match wrestlers that there's ever been. Um, and uh you know and obviously from a from the other standpoint from the dollars and cents standpoint um punk you know you, you know even with the 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 numbers that the last show did being lower than they've done in about uh in a while you know i mean i mean be for, forbidden door but that was a you know nobody expected forbidden door to do what the other shows did but it was lower with with punk on the show but he's still the biggest drawing card that they have um so taking him out of the equation hurts um depth wise match wise you know punk's mat and punk's pay-per-view matches have been good um very good so you're talking about two to three depending on the, the nature of what was going to be on this november show probably two you know because probably a trio's championship match and a and a singles match uh, for the title, although again, with them, um, if it's uh, Moxley versus MJF instead of uh, Punk versus MJF, I think from a match quality standpoint, that's no different, and it may even be better um, with the Moxley match, or it may be the same. It's uh, you know, it's 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 similar. It's similar type of uh, you know, and probably would be better actually with the Moxley match in some ways, but money wise, maybe not. Maybe, you know, um, I mean, it's basically Moxley's time. If that's the match, which I presume it is, um, I guess that would depend on uh, Moxley winning the tournament. I've seen some odds that Danielson's the favorite in the tournament, which is interesting. Um, I would say if it's Danielson and MJF, um, you know, I mean, that's almost a guaranteed great match. Um, so, but, you know, it, it does hurt. Um, and then there's, you know, there's the dressing room situation. It's a lot of things. It's, you know, and it's kind of one of these things where the story is, a lot of stories are out there. And, um, you know, I just keep thinking, like, if, if I, I've never negotiated with them, and I'm not going to, and obviously, but the point is, is like, if I was going to, want to negotiate i mean i would i would call levesque directly you know what i mean i mean i wouldn't go call up um whoever right and name that a guy who i know and go hey uh could you put in a good word for paul levesque to me when i already know him you know what i'm saying it's like that doesn't i and again i'm not saying i'm not saying anything just that is just one of those 
things where to me it's like wait a minute there's something that doesn't completely add up but i think at some point we'll probably know the truth and to this to all these situations anyway hey if you're a big fan of wrestling observer radio we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.